So welcome to Lukavu PhD. I'm a psychologist here in Maroubra, Sydney, Australia, and I wanted to talk to you today about what is therapy like? Um, it's a question that I get a lot from people who have no sense of what it's like to be in the room. Is it like Goodwill Hunting? Is it like Alcoholics Anonymous? So I want to make a video to, to sort of highlight what it really is. So the first thing is first, if you're coming to this room, if you're sitting on the couch, then we're going to have this mutual understanding that we're going to be honest with each other. Um, you're going to have to speak frankly and speak honestly about your experiences, about your problems, about your strengths, about your weaknesses. And I will speak frankly and honestly about uh, what I can and can't do and what we need to build or things that you haven't quite seen that might be creating or causing the problem. So this honest dialogue is really, really important. So once we engage in an honest dialogue, um, I'm going to carefully listen, carefully listen to your story, to your challenges, to your strengths, and really try to work out what the main problems are. Now, if you really think about this, it's very rare that you'll have someone who can provide an objective lens to your problem, and especially from an external point of view. After carefully listening, you and I will start to identify the problems that are causing you the most grief. Thing is, you might have lots and lots of problems. There might be complex problems. They might be interrelated to other problems. But we're, therapy is a time-limited resource, so we're going to prioritize which one you think and you want the most progress towards. So once we identify that problem, now we focus our energies on trying to solve that problem. So the way that we solve problems um, is typically by developing the skills relevant to that problem. So it's very likely that the problem you're facing um, is a larger problem than it needs to be because you're lacking a certain tool or a certain skill. Okay. So what are these skills, right? What are these skills that you can use to solve your problem? Well, they fall in a broad range of categories. So you can have skills that help you address your anxiety. You have skills that help you manage your thoughts or challenge them. You have skills that might help you develop motivational resources. You also have skills that might help you improve your communication with others. And this is especially important if you want to repair relationships, if you want to improve the quality of your relationships, especially when you might have strained them due to some of the struggles that you've been facing. We can develop a set of skills for you for that you can go out to the real world and then start to try to work out, well, how do I apply this skill and start to make progress? How do I apply this skill and start to get my needs met, start to communicate um, you know, assertively what I need from a situation or how do I manage my thoughts that sort of prevent me from pursuing the kind of things that I want to pursue and that are meaningful to my life. So a lot of therapy is you doing stuff. It's you trying out the skill and or developing the skill so that you can solve the problems you need to solve in your life so that you can improve it. So therapy isn't just inventing or complaining and just letting things off your chest. I mean, there's a very small component of that for me to understand what the problem is. But as we move later on in sessions, it's really about you applying the skills or the tools that you need so that you can make progress towards the goals that you want. And this could be a life in which addiction isn't a problem for you. This could be better relationships. This could be overcoming fear. This could also be being motivated to pursue what you want to pursue. Okay, so in my opinion, I think going to therapy is the ultimate responsibility and taking ownership of your own problems. It's it's this humility when it comes to recognizing, hey, you know, I've got a lot of complex issues and I might not have all the tools in order to solve them. And so I'm going to take a humble approach. I'm going to pay attention and I'm going to find someone that can help teach and develop the skills that I need that I currently don't have or maybe underdeveloped in order to make progress towards my problems. And I think that's a beautiful thing because I think it's the start of a growth mindset, something that will help set you up um, to make so much more progress towards some of the complex issues that you have in your life. 
So if you like videos like this, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, other than that, have a great day and happy recovery.